So in this section, we'll have a look at boot animation. So you might have already seen this boot animation. It's basically the splash screen when you start the emulator or when you start your uh, mobile device. So we'll see how we can change that in this section. Changing the boot animation is quite straightforward and it's um, not that complicated. So if you have a look at AOSP, I am opening one sample boot animation file. So if you go under uh, the car product boot animations, so this is the one for the automotive build. Okay, so the automotive build boot animation is under this path, car, car product boot animation. So under the boot animation, there is a zip file which contains different folders and within that it has got this animation. So this is the animation which you might have noticed uh, while loading the emulator. If you see, it has got a set of PNG files which is actually displayed sequentially to uh, show this animation so the boot animation uh, is simply a zip file with all the png files and it has also got a description dot text which uh, we have to provide so it has uh, some information i will explain to you later what exactly it is so in summary boot animation is just a zip file with a set of png files so this is the default one so here if you go you can see so this is a small animation so this is how the animation is working there and uh, finally there is an android display right this is the one where you see the android these are the png so there are 207 png files to show this entire stuff so changing the boot animation will require the following steps so first you need to create a folder structure with the sequence file so this is a folder and it has got part 0 part 1 like how many parts you have and then you have you should have the description dot text as well so you have the folder called boot animation 832 and it contains all these part folders and within the part folders it has got the png files and then under that you have the description text okay so this is the folder structure so if you want to create your own uh, boot animation you have to first create a folder and inside the folder you should have um, the part folders like part 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay and based on the number of pngs you have based on how big is your uh, animation then you should have one description dot text d e s c dot txt which um, gives some information we'll have a look at that in the, our next slide okay so, so this is the content of dsc.txt. So dsc.txt actually contains this is an example content of the file. So in this case, I have three folders, part 0, 1, 2. And the first line, first line is actually the resolution. So this is the horizontal resolution. That is a width 832 and 520, the vertical resolution. And then you have got the frame rate, which is actually 30. And in the second line, the first digit starts with C and then you have got the number of loops so this explains how many times it has to be looped like how many times these png files has to be displayed and then this is the seconds uh, post time in seconds so this is the post time 30 seconds okay and then you have got the folder name which is part zero and then here we have again the next line which has got one loop zero post second and then part one and then this is the third line zero c zero zero part two so if you have five uh, folders then you will have five lines over here and it will be like part zero one two three so it's quite straightforward and simple and once you have prepared this file just compress the folder and then keep it in any of the path within aosp and then you have to edit the car.mk so the car.mk resides in the same folder here under the car you can see the car.mk over here here we have the uh, line which actually copies boot animation to system image part. you have to edit that and just add this and then build and wait for build to complete and then and then the boot animation stuff is ready so in the next section so we'll go ahead and implement our own uh, boot animation hello and welcome back so this is a practical session where we are going to implement a boot animation so i will explain you what exactly i'm going to do so i am planning to change my bootloader as uh, the uh, famous tom and jerry uh, intro i hope you have seen this for sure so this is what exactly i am planning to make okay so this lion for the this mgm intro uh, that's what i'm going to show 
Okay, so what I have done is I have taken this video and split it into different different frames. Okay, so I have this here now. So I have split the video into different different PNG files basically. So you can do this online if you want. Like um, you can just search for uh, split video, split video into frames. Then you get some online uh, online uh, links as well. So you can either do it online or download some software to do that. So check it out. So that's quite easy. So I have done that already and I have kept it in this folder. So I hope you remember in previous uh, theory sections, I explained to you what exactly is the folder structure of the boot animations. So uh, this is my boot animation root folder and inside that you have the part zero, part one, part two and part three. So mine is a small intro. So I have just uh, taken only the lion part. Uh, not the cartoon afterwards so it's only 59 uh, png files while if you, if you check the original one from um, uh, google that has got um, a lot of uh, png so if you want you can make a big one uh, so for this um, uh, example i have just taken a very small one okay so once this is done and once you have created the folder structure you have to edit this description dot esc.txt so here you need to give the uh, resolution of your uh, image uh, that is in my case it is 640 into 480 and the frame rate is 30 okay and it has got um, four folders basically this is part zero which has just a blank file and uh, so let's give here as well maybe 10 milliseconds okay uh, here you have the three uh, folders where we have the, the actual content so let's save this okay save it and now we need to actually uh, zip this content and create a uh, create a uh, zip file basically okay for zipping it you should use a store method so if you don't use a store method it may not work actually because in my case i was initially trying to just right click and compress so this will not work what you need to do is basically uh, just open this up in the uh, command prompt so i am already in this folder i'm already in this folder so what i need to do is i need to zip it and uh, give a store method basically so this is the store method and then give the um, uh, the zip file name then give all the contents of the file so this is the command which basically you need to do so the most important part is that you need to use the store method the store method in this case is store and um, this is the zip command so in case if you have don't have the zip just go ahead and install zip um yeah just zip it like this okay so i'm just going to zip it so it's done the zipping is done so now i have got the boot.zip here just cut it and uh, put it over here okay so this is the one so i have the zip folder here so now come back to the visual studio code so where we have the boot animation and here you need to rename uh, in my case i did it already so that's why it's boot.zip otherwise it would be boot animation 832 which is the default one will be coming over here just rename it to boot.zip uh, in the product copy files and then save it and then come back to the aosp folder so and then just go ahead and build it yeah so it identified that the car.mk is modified and it's regenerating so it may take um, maybe two minutes or something to build because i have already built it i hope you have also already built once so if you have built it already once then it won't take much time so let's wait for some time uh, meanwhile so the most important thing you need to keep in mind is um, this part of constructing the folder structure just make sure you have named all the folders correctly and then in the description just make sure you are given the uh, folder names correctly this both should match correctly otherwise you will get into unnecessary delays in implementation okay because i had only one issue when i tried implementing this i had got only one issue and that was uh, due to this um, zip store method okay so if you use a proper store method then yeah and follow these steps then it will it is quite uh, simple and straightforward okay so let's see whether this is already done now 
Mm, it's 98 percentage so maybe in uh yeah a couple of minutes it should be done mm, yeah so it's done so it took two minutes in my case so depending on your pc it may take longer or shorter okay so let me emulate this so i have just used the um, no snap snapshot load so that we can see uh, the loading i am doing a cold boat basically here because if you run emulator once and you try rerunning it it will just um, boot from the snapshot so it's better to always a cold boot in this case because we want to see the bootloader so just run it so it is called boot requested by the user let's wait okay so we have it here so this is our bootloader 